in all the years that I've been living in Japan, this is the first time I've ever got to experience something like this because it was basically done for me and that kind of got the ball rolling. So it was November 13th, it's a Saturday night and my husband and his friends are over and they decided to go for a konbini run or a convenience store run to get some late night munchies and they see this at the local convenience store, more specifically the Family Mart, and it's the first night of the Disney Christmas Ornament Lottery run, and they decided to pull a couple of tickets for me. And this is the haul of that one night. And then a couple of days later, they insisted or um, encouraged me, and so I dropped by the convenience one night, I do five pulls, and this is the haul from that one night. And then when my husband's friend heard that I was going to do the lottery, he insisted that we drive around their neighborhood and check out the other family marts, see what they have in stock, and do the lotteries there. And that was a total of, I want to say, four convenience stores, four family marts we stopped by that night. And these are the results of that one night. A few nights later, my husband decides to surprise me with another lottery draw, and this time he pulls three tickets, and these three are the hauls of that night. And then on a couple of random days later, my friend decides to do another lottery pull, and this happened on one time, and this happened on another time. And finally, my husband decides to do two more lottery pulls, and these were the halls of that one night. We're looking at, within a span of one week, the collected draws of 16 figurines, and that comes out to a total of 12,000 yen, or roughly about 120 US dollars. So I have with me $120 worth of Disney Christmas ornaments. I've never had this many Disney Christmas ornaments in my life. This is definitely a good reason to start getting on with that Disney Christmas tree that I've always kind of wanted to do in the back of my mind. So thank you to my husband and my friends for giving me that push, I guess, that I needed to get on with this very, very special once a year event. One thing that I almost forgot to mention but is really a special feature of this lottery is that every ticket is a win. There is no such thing as like a missed chance or a good luck try again kind of deal. And at 750 yen or about $7 per ticket, that's really not a bad deal. Especially when you consider how much the ornaments that are being sold at the Disney store this time of year cost. So there's really no way to miss out or lose out, which is really awesome. And on top of that, you have chances to win bigger prizes like the box sets or a snow globe or that giant golden standing Mickey plush, which by the way is the official name for that item. And to give you more incentive to make you want to draw more lottery tickets, for every two tickets that you buy, you get a free sheet of wall stickers. And I just so happen to have four of them. And they're called wall stickers, but you don't only have to stick them on the walls, you can stick them on like the doors of your shelves or your cabinets or your drawers or your dressers, windows or glass panes. They're quite versatile, I think. There were a total of five. Here's the first one that I got, one of Mickey and Minnie in their Santa outfits. Here's the second one of Pooh, Tigger, and Piglet. Kind of goes with the characters that you find uh, represented in the individual ornaments. The classics, Pinocchio, Tink, and the 101 Dalmatians. And finally, Pixar, Buzz, Woody, and Sully, and Mike. So the only one that I'm missing is the princess's one. So as is the usual case that I do here on my channel when I do unboxings or hauls, I will obviously be giving you a close-up of the ornaments themselves. I won't be pulling every single one of their boxes because that takes some time and time is something that I don't have a lot of these days. But I will be pulling a few of them out so you can get a general idea of what they look like. And let me tell you just based on first impression that I was seriously blown away by the quality, by just how detailed they are, by not just how two-dimensional, but how many small details or small accessories that came with each 
ornament and you will see what I mean when I give you close-ups. And at about $7 a pop, you wouldn't imagine they would be of that quality and of that detail. So rather than going through it chronologically, I think I want to go by group. So I'll start with Mickey and Friends, followed by Pooh and Friends, then the Disney classics, the princesses, and then finally we'll end up with Pixar. So I want to start with the main mouse himself because he's like the figurehead of Disney and what better way to kick off this lineup than with Mickey. And this is what the box looks like. So all of them come with this shape and this style of packaging. It's plastic and there's a cardboard backing inside and right here it says Christmas Ornament 2021. This lottery is called Happy Kuji. You can see that there's a number here in the corner that is associated with each individual ornament. I guess to keep track of the number of items they have in stock and the ornaments themselves come with a small string attached to the top of their head but if you don't want to hang your ornament on a tree and you would rather display it they come with a base just for that purpose. They've seriously thought about everything. So you can hang it on your tree as an ornament, or you can simply stand them on their base so that you can set it out for display on a shelf, on your table, on your desk. So in that way, it's not just restricted to the Christmas season. You can use it outside of the Christmas season, have it on display throughout the whole year, which I think is brilliant. So let me open Mickey up for you. It comes out very easily. You have the backing out and then the figure right there nestled in the plastic. The base has some glitter on it. Here's the base. Here you can see on Mickey's foot there is a small hole in which the peg of the base attaches to so that makes him stand like so. It's very simple. And there's the string on top of his head if you plan to hang him from the tree. That's how he looks. He is all dressed up in gold. I want to assume that's to coincide with the 50th anniversary of Disney World. Mickey and friends are all dressed in gold. Look at the detailing. Look at all the sparkle he has on his tuxedo. This is incredible. I am so impressed and kind of sad that I didn't get into something like this sooner because this is not the first year they've been doing this. They've been doing it for a couple of years now. I'm going to have to start checking in every year now. So that was Mickey. I happen to have doubles of Mickey, by the way. And next up, I want to show his girlfriend. Where are you, Minnie? Minnie Mouse, right here. Doesn't she look sweet? This is classic Minnie in a classic Minnie pose. And I like that she has a pink bow right there, acting like a brooch. That's cute. This was the first among the Mickey and Friends ornaments that I got, Miss Daisy. She kind of looks like she could go on the runway or is on the red carpet or something. And I love that they captured her sassiness in a way that Minnie is sweet and Hers is sassy. So I have these four from the Mickey and Friends series. As you can see, I am missing my bias, Donald, and I have all three out of four of them. So I'm thinking of getting him through like Mercari or something just so that I can complete that set. Okay, so we went through Mickey and Friends. Let's go through Pooh Bear and Friends. Unfortunately, I only have Pooh, and I got doubles of him. Fun fact, Winnie the Pooh is known as Pooh-san, which essentially translates to Mr. Pooh. There is no mention of Winnie in his name at all. No one knows him as Winnie. He is simply known as Pooh-san or Mr. Pooh. I mean, how do you even translate Pooh? I want to say that this is a nod to one of the shorts or one of the movies, I can't recall, where they're celebrating Christopher Robin's birthday or somebody's birthday. I really can't remember. And I'm gonna open him up for you. Isn't he cute? He's adorable. Pooh is very nostalgic for me because he is my childhood. The Adventures of Winnie the Pooh 
If you know what I'm talking about or if you've watched that TV show, let me know in the comments. All right, let's go to the classics. I have doubles of Pinocchio. So we'll start off with that. And what's especially cool about Pinocchio is you get two. You get the blue fairy. Look at her face. The paint job on that. And look, Pinocchio is so small, but the details are so fine, so clean. Incredible. I'm kind of curious to see how they look on a base, so let me just attach them. Oh, my heart. Look at this scene. This must be when she's about to make him into a real boy. Classic Disney. Tink. I think I have a double of her as well. Yep, I have two Tinks. And her wings are transparent, but she has glitter in them. The paint job on her face. That is also so clean. And what I think is my favorite among the classics ornaments. Ah, my husband pulled this one. The Dalmatians. Look how stinking cute they are. They are in stockings. Christmas stockings. Okay, I'm going to have to open it because I just can't. I can't. I have to show you. And look how tiny they are. Thumb for scale. They're like the size of my thumb. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look how cute. Oh my gosh. So cute. So cute. I think this is the most popular, I want to say, among the ornaments based off of how much they're going for on third party selling sites. Ah, so cute. But they all look like they're ready to sleep. Look at this one. He's yawning. This one's pretty much going off into dreamland very soon. And this one's, of course, already sleeping. Night night, puppies. I just realized that I got all of the ornaments that are in the classics group. Next, we will go through the princesses. And I am going to start off with Miss Tiana. Again, a shocker that Tiana came out in a Japanese lottery because they don't really do any princesses of color. I don't want to sound racist, but this is the truth. Princesses like Tiana, Pocahontas, even Mulan is very rare to see. So to see her in a big event like this nationwide is incredible. Okay, so I'm going to pull Miss Tiana out because I think of all the princesses, she has the most detailing and it's so impressive. Look at that. Especially look at the leaves that make up her skirt or the petticoat of it. That is amazing. And she has some glitter on the main body of her gown. And look at the fine detailing of her crown and the flower that is pinning the layers of her skirt. Incredible. I'm so blown away. Again, $7. I think it's worth opening up all the princesses because they just have so much detail. And it's really worth checking out. So I'm opening up Hunzi right now. My goodness, check out her hair, that braid, those tiny flowers, oh my gosh, and the crown on her head, and again, sparkles on her main dress. I'm really impressed with the base of her petticoat, the bottom of her petticoat. I mean, they don't have to go this far, but they did, they totally did. I am opening up jasmine right now the way her skirt flares or is that her skirt i don't know it's like a part of something but anyway the way that it flares up is just so cool to me look at that i love dynamic poses like this where they're in some sort of movement as opposed to just them standing to the side or just doing that you know princess pose where they're just like hands on their body or near their face and that's it but look at jasmine she looks ready to fly and finally my girl Belle. 
I'm so impressed by the details of the layers in her skirt. And again, not a static pose, dynamic, like she's moving. So cool. And even her hair is not static. There's some flow of movement in it. Oh my gosh. And even the petticoats, the detailing on the petticoats. Oh, look at that spiral. Those spirals. Oh my gosh. I am so, so impressed. And finally, we come to the Pixar group. And I have, within that group, only Sully. I'm not much of a Pixar fan. I can appreciate their movies, but I'm not a fan in the sense that I don't collect anything Pixar. But Sully is pretty cool, the way they depicted him. And he has a string of garland wrapped around his entire body with ornaments dangling right off it. That is so awesome. Oh, and I just noticed that now, but take a look at his nose. It's painted green. Huh. I want to say that in terms of the Pixar characters, they look like the ones that are the closest to Christmas related designs. If you took a look at all of the other ornaments, the other characters, they don't really have anything Christmassy about them with the exception of the Dalmatians. But all of the Pixar characters have some sort of Christmas related accessory on them, like the Christmas lights or a garland, like in this case. This year they didn't have much of a Christmas thing going on uh, compared to like past years where some of the princesses had uh, like their winter outfits or they would be holding Christmas presents. Fun fact, Winnie the Pooh is known as Pooh San, which essentially translates to Mr. Pooh in Japan. There is no mention of Winnie in his name at all. No one knows him as Winnie. He is simply known as Pooh San or Mr. Pooh. I mean, how do you even translate Pooh? What is a Pooh? So I'm going to be comparing for you two Mr. Poohs, one from the Disney store and one from the Disney Christmas ornament. And since I already gave you a close-up of the ornament one, I want to give you a close-up of, just very briefly, of the Disney Store one. I got the Legacy one. This one was 2 of 12, costs 2310 or about 20 to $23. He is here in the very classic stuck-in-a-honey-tree Pooh Bear. This one obviously looks way bigger than Mr. Pooh of the Christmas ornament. And you get a satin ribbon as opposed to a silver ribbon. Very small, thin, silver string. What I do want to say about the detail of the paint job here is that there is definitely a lot more shading, there's a lot more lighting, there are more colors being used here obviously because there's a lot of depth involved and there's a lot more things going on. It's not just poo, you have the tree, you have honey, you have um, the bees already scattered here. There's a whole bunch of stuff happening. So there is a range of elements involved that comes into the Disney store ornaments here. While this one is meant to be a lot more simple, there's not so much shading. The paint is really one shade for each color. There's also definitely more substance to the ornaments from the Disney store because there is weight to it. I'm not exactly sure what kind of material they're made of. I'm hoping the label will tell me. Not really, but I want to say it's like there's some clay involved because it feels like there would be. I have a scale, a digital scale that I got just for this purpose. Mr. Pooh from the Disney store weighs with the tag. 186 grams. That's a, almost 200 grams. That's a lot. Meanwhile, Mr. Pooh from, from the Family Mart Christmas ornament line weighs only 34 grams. This one weighs three times as much as this one. If you think about how many of these you want to stack your tree with, and if your tree is like one of those really regular trees that you get at any store, these you can easily stack up your tree with with dozens of them, no problem. I would be afraid to stack my tree up with this for fear of my tree toppling down. <laughs> At a price of 750 yen to 2,310 yen, or about $22, $7, I want to think that you get more bang for your buck for this one. The only reason I say that is it took me a long time to find one that had this good of a paint job and this clean of a paint job. There were so many Pooh Bears that had like scuff marks, that have black spots, 
some of the um, detailing or the lines or the fine lining were off on his face, especially when you look at his nose, like the brown spot in his nose would be like crooked or, or off-centered or just not completely filled in. And the same thing goes with a lot of the other people-based ornaments where the, you have the fine detailing of the paint, where the fine details of the paint job don't exactly look right. As simple as the paint job looks, they were all clean and consistent and every single ornament looked just as good as the next one. Like you wouldn't have to go searching for another one because their paint job looked bad. I hope you enjoyed checking out this year's Christmas ornaments from the Happy Kuji at Family Mart. I can't wait to see what they have in store next year, literally speaking, and excited to see what kind of theme and costumes they'll be thinking about next. Let me know which ones were your favorite from everything you've seen here. Would you get one? Would you take part in this lottery? How many would you pull? Is it worth it? Let me know everything and anything you want to share. If you'd like to support me, please give this video a like, subscribe to my channel, and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.